Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Usman Dembele starts with Kylian Mbappe in the wide areas. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack a pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And so the battle commences. Kunde passes like that very much in his repertoire Rafael Varane now Griezmann Mbappe excellent refereeing advantage in operation well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man. Oh, big moment here, Derek. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Number nine, Erling Haaland. Radio. Mbappe with it. Intelligent threaded pass here. Giroud. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Griezmann well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Holland and good use of advantage the referee allowing play to continue and with that the attack fizzles out Well, he could give it away. And you know, see. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. This could be the equaliser.
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. Underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. He's using his strength to good effect. Holland. Now you do see. And he read it well defensively. And slipped through beautifully. But it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they seem to be on to something positive, but it faded away. Dembele. Who can he pick out? Pedersen. Just the challenge that was required. Can he find the right pass? Useful looking ball. Superb save from Hugo Lloris. Mbappe. Griezmann. Can he do it from miles out? And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Oh, great vision. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. That's really good and effective physical play. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? And no problems at all for the keeper. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here so back underway here into the second half And they trouble the opposition this time. As eyes for goal. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Over it comes. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground.
giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move, just couldn't quite cap it off. Alexander Surlot. He has teammates around him. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. The corner kicks keep on coming. Well, opting for the short corner. Routine save for the Frenchman. Mbappe. Hernandez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And Norway will get the throw in. Edison, good pressure high up the pitch. Tempele firing it towards goal. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Now he's given it away. Over the touchline for what will be a France throw. Aurelien Chouameni attending to his defensive chores counter-attacking very much an option good-looking sequence Elianusi and an astute piece of defending We have 20 minutes left in this game. Giroud. Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available to snap onto it. They've got it now. What can they do? And that pass could be troublesome. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's they decided that now is the time to go to the bench. It hasn't come to very much. The danger here as he runs at them. And a chance to level it. Crucial block from Varane. And a timely intervention. He plays in. He can't hold on to it. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's parried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. left for play well another equaliser what a topsy-turvy game this has been excellent assessment of the situation at the back on the offensive is there to be late excitement really vital interception here and the advantage accrues to the attacking side 
Fine ball from Antoine Griezmann. Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, just watch this again. Griezmann's pass is inch perfect, and all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly, it's a fantastic strike. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Martin Odegaard. On the ball in an attacking position. But they've got to do something positive quickly. France giving away possession. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Erling Haaland! Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Goal! Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Rabio, Chouameni, Rafael Varane. Now Rabio, Griezmann, Coman. Are they going to forge ahead? And a fine stop. Short corner taken. Can he finish? Well, over the top it goes. He didn't miss by an awful lot. Couldn't keep it. To the advanced position King well in the end it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper Stuart well he has to do better there that's a really poor finish a room to roam on the wing but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Teo Hernandez Yanusi, excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. Hauge. And with that, the attack fizzles out. 
King. Can he convert? Well, able to close down the shot. Coman. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And the referee blows for a foul. What a pass that lacks quality. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Thwarted there, following the cross. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Kylian Mbappe. Read it superbly to take back possession. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Happy to take on the shot and block for now. Mbappe firing it in and the keeper more than equal to it. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And taken short. Rabio and the keeper had the measure of it. And now it's all over! France are world champions for the third time! And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament.